Black holes have been a constant source of amusement and curiosity in the minds of scientists, astronomers, and space enthusiasts alike. These gigantic entities in space have the ability to gorge up any planetary bodies, even entire galaxies. Black holes have gravity that is so strong that no particle or medium, even electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from it. These supermassive black holes are the most mysterious monsters of the cosmic world, and they are widespread. In our region of the universe alone, there are some 100 billion supermassive black holes. The nearest is present in the center of our own Milky Way galaxy, 28,000 light years away. The most distant we know of lives in a quasar galaxy billions of light years away. Black holes were first predicted by Einstein when he released his 1916 paper on the general theory of relativity, which talked about space and time as being interwoven to constitute space-time. As he worked out the equations for his general theory of relativity, Einstein realized that massive objects caused a distortion in space-time. The term black hole was coined many years later in 1967 by American astronomer John Wheeler. All of this was good in theory, but we didn't have ample practical evidence in order to prove its existence. This changed with the discovery of the first black hole, Cygnus X1, located within the Milky Way in a constellation of Cygnus, the Swan, about 6,200 million miles away from us. The launch of the Hubble telescope in 1990 was a major boost in locating and visualizing the black holes. Utilizing Hubble's sharp vision, astronomers have solved a number of mysteries about supermassive black holes, including their abundance and their influence on galaxies in the evolving universe. It has sent back some stunning pictures of outer space, but Hubble is far more than just providing pretty pictures. The mission has also gathered dozens of terabytes of data over its life cycle and has provided key insights into the universe as we know it. It has looked upon objects as close as the moon to the most remote galaxies, with observations of supernovas and nebulas in between. However, considering everything that it has provided for humankind's scientific cause, Hubble has become old. It has been repaired at least five times in the last 31 years of its launch and general estimates say that it can provide service at least until 2030. A new, more powerful James Webb Space Telescope was launched from the French Guiana at Christmas in 2021. Webb is the most powerful space telescope ever launched into space. It has greatly improved infrared resolution and sensitivity, which allows it to view objects which are too old, distant, or faint for the Hubble Space Telescope. On March 16, 2022, James Webb Space Telescope officials released a stunning image of a single star, which was clicked by the telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope launched from Earth on Christmas Day and now located 1.6 million kilometers away chose the ordinary star to take an extraordinary picture. Its first image with its 18 hexagonal mirror segments is near perfect, as per NASA reports. Webb captured the star with a red filter to enhance its brightness and could see not only the stellar target itself, but also stars and galaxies in the background. The image shows a nondescript star within our own galaxy, revealing the James Webb Telescope's deep field capabilities. The image also has several other planetary bodies in the background, with a nearby star shining in its full glory. The image has taken space enthusiasts by storm, as they speculate the presence of a supermassive black hole in the picture. The star, known as 2 mass J1755404265540, is 100 times fainter than what can be seen with the human eye. The image of the star is a pretty one to say the least, but the world astronomers are more captivated to see is the spray of tiny dots scattered across the background. Each of them is a distant galaxy in itself. And what's unique is that this is the first time we've ever been able to capture them. Light is known to bend around massive objects such as a black hole which causes it to act as a lens for the things that exist behind it. Astronomers use this method to study such stars and galaxies which hide behind massive objects. What's inside of a black hole is never known, but a specific item of interest is the quasar, which are astronomical objects of very high luminosity 
found in the centers of galaxies and are powered by gas spiraling at high velocity into an extremely large black hole. The distant galaxies that have been captured by the telescope also capture the presence of quasars in the background. These galaxies are greatly outshined by the quasar's floodlight beam brilliance. From Hubble, we know that most of the galaxies are seen in the process of colliding with other galaxies. According to theory, these violent encounters fuel a central black hole. Filled with massive amounts of gas, the black hole loses some material to the blazing jets that shoot out of a galaxy center. The image captured by the James Webb Telescope is being touted to be a tipping point for scientists to study the quasars in great detail. James Webb is 100 times more sensitive than Hubble and operates in the realm of the infrared, where it is capturing galaxies far more distant than any we have before. The image of a star 2 mass is significant because it shows that each of JWST's 18 primary mirror segments, which produce the Space Telescope's iconic honeycomb mirror design, has been aligned correctly, and it has taken one more step toward beginning its exploration of the cosmos. Webb Telescope's primary mirror is made up of a lineup of 18 individual mirrors, which are to be properly aligned and will act as a single mirror. Seven actuators are fitted on each hexagonal segment. These actuators can be slightly tilted, shifted, rotated, or even deformed to make sure that they can operate together as a single perfect parabolic surface. The $10 billion telescope was successfully aligned with its near-infrared camera, as shown by the star image. NASA and ESA still have four other instruments that it has to install with perfect alignment to obtain sharp images of distant objects. The telescope is absolutely phenomenal and is really working extremely well. The performance is as good if not better than the most optimistic predictions. The team is ready to get other telescope parts in line with the observatory's mirrors. When all the other instruments are aligned with the telescope, which is scheduled to be completed by July 2022, the telescope will be able to capture a lot more process and precise images of outer space. The complete installation and synchronization of all the components is also no mean task. The telescope and its sensitive instruments, which were launched from the French Guiana launch platform at tropical temperatures, are required to first cool down to 230 degrees Celsius. But thanks to its giant multi-layer sunshield, JWST had already reached 200 degrees Celsius by early January 2022. However, the passive cooling does slow down over time. Only when the NIRC CAM instrument near-infrared camera was cold enough to allow its ultra-sensitive mercury cadmium telluride detectors to pick up any infrared light, the process of aligning the telescope's 18-mirror segments could finally commence. The image taken of the star was only a test shot and not part of any scientific study. Still, the test does reveal the capabilities of this powerful piece of technology and what it can do when pointed at a star roughly 1 million miles away from Earth. Thousands of distant galaxies were seen looming mysteriously around the spiked star. This only goes on to highlight the unrealized potential of Webb. You can't help but see those thousands of galaxies behind it. In fact, these distant galaxies can be called ancient, as many of them are several billions of years old. But this isn't a problem for Webb's capabilities, as scientists expect the telescope to see as far as a couple hundred million years after the Big Bang. These images will allow scientists to peek back in time and capture the formation of galaxies from the very early days of our universe, basically only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This could potentially transform our understanding of a galaxy formation and evolution. According to scientists, the James Webb Space Telescope is going to shed light on the universe in many different ways. It will be able to capture the distant starlight from galaxies that have been redshifted from UV wavelengths to the infrared, which essentially means that we will be able to literally see further back when the universe was a lot younger in order to understand more about how the very first galaxies formed and grew with time. Deemed as the flagship successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope will give the world of astronomy continuous waves of discovery. Many scientists are pinning their hopes that it will also reveal the actual chemical content of many suspected alien worlds which might support life on them. The James Webb Telescope will also help us understand 
the conditions of the very early universe in ways that we've only imagined. Coming July, Webb will start searching for galaxies in the distant universe, which will be a pretty exciting time in astronomy. And this was all about the James Webb Telescope and how it can impact the future of astronomy. If you want to watch videos on more interesting topics related to technology, do subscribe to our channel by pressing that bell icon. You will be notified whenever a new video comes up. Also, press the like button if you like this video and tap share to share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts. We will be back soon with yet another interesting video.